Today we're going to be talking about guns. This might look like a real gun, but it's not. It's an airsoft which just shoots plastic BBs. You can find them at sporting goods stores or just do a Google search. Now, don't be an idiot. Whenever you're going to shoot an action scene with something that looks like a real gun, make sure that everybody around you knows that you're just making a movie and you're not actually using a real gun. And also, don't actually use a real gun as a prop. Don't be an idiot and be safe. Making movies is fun, but it's not worth getting the cops called on you because your neighbors thought that you guys were running around with real weapons. Now, a lot of the action movies on YouTube have muzzle flares that look like this. <laughs> Couple of problems. One, the flare is too small. Two, there's no environmental interaction. There's no smoke. And three, the recoil looks ridiculous. The proper muzzle flare should look something like this. <laughs> the first thing you need to do is get a DVD of your favorite action movie and start going frame by frame through the gunfights. Really pay attention to how big the muzzle flares are and how they're interacting with the environment. Also notice how much recoil is felt by the actor. You're gonna try and replicate the look of this as close as you can in After Effects. So to start with, this is our base footage. I'm using a gas blowback airsoft gun, which uh, blows the slide back every time you pull the trigger. Uh, if you don't have one of these, you can always just sort of edit the single frame where it blows back in Photoshop. Uh, I found a muzzle flash image using Google Image Search, just for muzzle flash, like one of the first things I got. You're looking for a muzzle flash image on black, because what we're going to do is put it in and resize it and walk it into place here. And we're going to set the blending mode on it to screen, which uh, will take away the black. This looks like to be about the right size, so now we're going to walk the in and out points out so it's only one frame long. And scrubbing through now, it looks pretty good. For the environmental glow, we're going to take the base layer and duplicate it and set the blending mode to add. If you want to be fancy with it, if you want the uh, flare to cast a certain color of glow, you can go to the color correction tint, but uh, it looks pretty good right now, so we're just going to ignore that. Otherwise, you would just tint the whites to whatever color you wanted the uh, flare to cast. So now we're going to mask out the sections of the frame that would be affected by the light coming from the uh, glow here. So it would be my face, uh, a little bit of my body and my leg here, and uh, a little bit of my hand as well. If you want to get even more fancy, you can add masks for parts where a shadow would be cast from that point source of light, but we're not going to be that fancy here. For the wall behind it, we're going to take an elliptical mask tool and uh, bring the feathering on everything up. Uh, and then the one in the back here, the elliptical mask, I'm going to bring the feathering up way more so it's uh, a little more diffuse and position that in. Scrubbing through with the opacity, this is what it looks like with the glow and without. We're going to keyframe the uh, glow in right when the flare happens and off right before. And I like to add two frames for the glow to sort of start at full intensity and then fade out over the course of two frames. Uh, about 50% looks right here. So playing through it, it looks pretty good with just the flare and the environmental glow. But if you want to add a little more to it, you can add a smoke layer. There's basically two ways you can get smoke. One is you can buy it from a, an effects package like uh, the Video Copilot Action Essentials Pack, which I'll put a link to in the uh, description box. Or you can make it by shooting firecrackers against a uh, black background and then using those elements to basically be your smoke. Uh, that one's a little more time consuming and intensive, but it's also free minus the cost of fireworks. So with the smoke, I just threw it in there, positioned it, and set to screen blending mode, and it looks pretty good with it. So this is what the final effect looks like.